We're going to determine the width of a, a spacer bars. And these are spacer bars uh, right here. This is a steel sta spacer bar on the board against the, uh, the headpiece of the clamp. And there's a steel spacer bar against the footpiece. And these spacer bars are three quarters of an inch thick and uh, two inches wide. And uh, so I have uh, a steel spacer bar. I have my wood. This is maple wood. Um, approximately uh, three inches wide, a little over three inches wide and 36 inches long. And uh, I've cut the holes for the biscuits, which we'll get, we'll get the biscuits when I glue the pieces together, of course. And uh, the uh, distance, the distance between the the two, the uh, back edge and the front edge of the of the uh, clamp is 26 inches, and I need to have my horizontal clamp extend approximately one half inch beyond the the front edge. So that means it has to be 26 and a half inches between this edge and this edge. And uh, my six pieces of, of wood making up my workpiece are 20 inches. My two spacer bars are two inches a, p a p uh, piece, so that's 24. Subtract 24 from 26 and a half, and I get two and a half. So this piece that I cut out of plywood, this three quarter inch plywood, is uh, two and a half inches wide. So when I put this in here, and I'm going to, and I compress it with these horizontal clamps, I'll be extending this this uh, headpiece of the clamp will be a half an inch in front of the front edge. That way, there's going to be a force compressing the workpiece. I don't want to have these clamps clamping against the clamp itself because then of course the wood piece wouldn't be would be uh, being clamped. So that's how you determine how much how many a spacer bar the width of the spacer bars that's required. We're going to use steel, the steel spacer bars at the head end and the foot end of the clamp because when you put a force on one end of it and the other end you want the force to be the same in the center, and you don't want anything that's going to be uh, have any kind of uh, flexibility to it. That's why we have to use steel, and it's got to be at least two inches wide. It can be three inches wide, of course. It can't be one inch. It's got to be two or more.